Thanks, Renee. I'm outside breathing the fresh air with Tiger Palafox. He was talking about clean air, and we really do need to change our ways going into the new year, right? Ex if, we, if we haven't. Exactly. And there's some. We were going to create some great tips as far as some ways you, you clean your ways or clean your air. <laughs> clean, <laughs> clean your ways clean your and ways your too. air. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. resolutions too, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, so how do we do that? How do we kind of change the mindset? Well, you know, first off, the best way is plant a tree. We all know trees and plants clean the air and do a great job of doing it. So, you know, talking about the right tree to plant. First off, we live in Southern California, you're gonna want a tree that's uh, environmentally friendly in the way that it's low water. This is a Cassia leptophylla, a beautiful tree that has yellow flowers, easy to grow here in Southern California, it's great. Is it leptophylla? Leptophylla. Leptophylla, okay. Yeah. But at the same time, some people say, oh, I don't have a yard, but I still want to plant a tree. What about a citrus tree? This is a lemon. This can grow in pots, so you can easily plant it in a container, have it on a patio, and do wonderful. And you get lemons. And you get lemons, it. which is great yeah. from your yard. When you're planting the tree, you want to use a fertilizer and organic compost. Dig the hole nice and deep, but then deep water it. And after a while, it gets established. You can back off on the water. Maybe only water it once a week, which is a lot of people don't realize they don't need a lot of water. So that's really important. Okay, so moving from that, we have another guest here as well that we're going to introduce you to. And this is uh, Tom Erb, a national field organizer for the Put a Price on It campaign, uh, which is far-reaching, and thanks for being here. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. So first of all, what is that? Yeah, so Put a Price on It is a national campaign to engage students all across the country to advocate and lobby for a price on carbon. Um, so essentially the problem right now is we have a lot of energy companies and big polluters who don't have to pay for this uh, pollution that they're spitting out in the air, which affects me, it affects all of you, and it affects our community. So we're engaging students all across the country to be able to do that on a high level. And you've already expanded to something, what, 50 campuses? Yeah, so we launched in August, uh, late August, and over the course of just a few months, we now have 50 campuses across the country with 50 climate leaders all across the country working on this issue. So you're really working hard on this. How do we make air cleaner and get more people involved in this? Yeah, so essentially I think uh, what Tiger touched on is it's all about making it personal to each person, right? So you can talk about climate change, you can talk about air pollution, it seems overwhelming. But if you can talk about planting a tree, talking about getting involved in your community or on your campus, it's really relatable and really motivates people to use their own voice. Okay, so what is this that you're showing here then? Yeah, so we have some products that a lot of you probably all have in your home and they all have something in common. They all contain palm oil, which is a really unique oil. It's efficient, it's cheap, but it's also really degrading to the environment. And the thing is, these palm trees, where this palm oil comes from, are planted in countries all over the world. And what happens is that they have to cut down these trees, cut down natural forest in order to make way for these palm plantations. What that does is it not only um, puts pollution in the atmosphere when you burn the trees, but it gets rid of these trees that are actually sucking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, which creates a bigger problem. Oh my God, so, no more goldfish. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but there's other alternatives. But this is, goes back to what I was saying, planting the right tree. Yeah. And you know, I had mentioned Southern California, you need the right tree. Well, the issue is, is that they're clearing forests, but they're planting the wrong trees. Mm -hmm. And they're doing the wrong process as far as doing it. They're using pesticides, they're using um, synthetic fertilizer. And these are all harmful to the environment. If they were doing it the right way, it would be okay and it'd be good. But they're doing it the wrong way. So that's what you know, Tom's working on is bringing awareness. And people realize, I don't think anybody knows that palm oil is in all no of these idea. products. And you don't realize that what the effect of palm oil is and having on the small environment. small kids, it's like goldfish oh, or the state. Right, so you just pop it in the mouth. find some alternatives. That's exactly right. <laughs> but also, Tom, you know, you're, you're a young man. How mm -hmm. do we get more young people involved? What, where did you find the passion for this? Yeah, that's exactly right. So it started actually in high school for me. I went to Poway High School here locally, and it started just with a conversation with my family, talking about climate change, talking about local environmental issues that inspired me to go to a college where I could work on environmental policy. And, and really, I found that it's all about relationship building. It's all about talking to different students and, and giving them a voice in this fight, because it is overwhelming. But if you hit them on a local issue, you hit them on something that's relatable to them, either in their studies or something their family has felt, they're really motivated to act. And that's where we've been successful and gotten such a fantastic network of students all across the country. All right, very good. Well, I really like it. I'm glad you both came out and, you know, raising that awareness and keeping doing that. That's why you come in and talk about all this stuff. And the other thing I want to touch on real quick was this is the time of year. A lot of people are driving for travel. A lot of people are using their heater in their houses. And this is all where the pollution comes from is the energy use, you know, kind of burning fossil fuels. So right now is the time of year when people got to consider it. All right. Thank you both so much thank for being you. here. And we'll be right back.